Welcome to this new how to. In this how to, we're gonna look at how you can work around some of the issues which you might experience when loading a flight which you previously saved. Right? Some of the flights are so long that you might want to save them and continue later on. However, that causes a lot of issues. One of them is that the autopilot switches off, but hey, that's easy. Simply switch it on, make sure that all the options are set correctly, and then you should be, I would say, good to go. The other one, however, is a little bit more difficult, and that has to do all with the flight plan, right? If we look at the flight plan, we can see it's completely clear. There's only one, uh, let's say, beacon in it, and if we go up or down, it's not there. In our case, right, when using the A320 uh, from a fly-by-wire, we're lucky because we can re-import the flight plan. So if we do that, you sometimes get the error, hey, flight number in use. In that case, yeah, you will need to find a different flight plan uh, number and then simply add it. In most cases, that works. It says uplink insert in progress. Well, that's fine for me. So if we now go back to the flight plan, you see that it has selected the first waypoint in our flight plan. But in my case, I'm already progressing very well and I'm already, I would say, almost half of the way of my flight plan. So what you can do in those circumstances is uh, look at the VFR map, right? You can see that there is something weird on uh, with, with, with Flight Simulator. It happened after Sim Update number 8 that sometimes after saved flight this, I would say, option on the top is completely gone. So luckily I've had a Navigraph and I know that I'm pretty close to the beacon called Morok, right? Mike, Oscar, Romeo, Oscar, Kilo. So what I'm going to do is to work around it is I'm going to press the direct option. And in the case of the A320 Annex, I can easily go to the list and find the beacon I want to fly to. So we're almost there. Here is Morak, right? I simply select it and then say temporarily direct. What now will happen is that it will insert a temporarily beacon inside my fly plan and after that, we'll simply continue using the flight plan which I already configured using a, a, a ZIT SIM brief. Which is really cool because that works now. And uh, with that, let's say if we would say go here, I would look at my flight plan. It simply starts to follow my flight plan and also the heading mode, which is also by default set to the uh let's say following the heading in case of uh reloading the flight is now following the flight plan again so pretty easy with the a321x simply reload the data from simbrief and then search for the uh beacon where you're closest to make sure that you're selecting the direct option and then uh, choose the option to fly directly to the beacon the same thing can be done for other, I would say, aircrafts. Although in some scenarios, I've also seen weird things where it completely screwed up the flight plan. Unfortunately, I would say saving and res or saving, yeah, and then resuming the flight is not one of the most stable ways of flight simulator currently. Also, I've, I would say, I uh, faced issues where I simply loaded the flight and my aircraft directly crashed on the ground for some reason. So there is some improvement work to be done. Here ends this video, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.